Apple rubber engineers use a number of mold-making machines to produce customized, high-quality parts. When customers need thin-walled molds or complex shapes with quick turnaround times, we rely on transfer molding to deliver the speed and results their applications require. Transfer molds contain a high cavity count and vary in size and shape. The process uses a closed mold system, meaning the cavity plates start out closed, resulting in less flash or extra material left on the final part. Let's take a closer look at the transfer molding process. First, the uncured rubber is placed in a transfer pod located above the cavity area. Next, as the mold is closed, the rubber is pushed or transferred into the cavity by a piston through a sprue. During the curing cycle, the parts and the residual material left in the pot are cured, utilizing heat and pressure. Apple Rubber's molding machines use precise controllers to monitor these parameters. Finally, the mold is opened and the part and flash is removed. Due to the rapid transfer of heat to the rubber, transfer molds have a shorter cycle time than compression molds. Transfer molding also allows for design flexibility and sharper edges. Microgrind vents reduce the need for overflows, allowing for flashless parts, greatly reducing the deflash process. Transfer molding is used for countless manufacturing applications today, including composite seals, connector seals, metal to rubber face seals, and U-cup designs for hydraulic applications. No matter how specific your requirements may be, Apple Rubber's in-house transfer molding capabilities guarantee tight tolerances, design flexibility, complete customization, and short lead times. For more information, visit applerubber.com/askapple and be sure to check out our mold-making capabilities.